In this lesson, I want to show you what the responsive design feature of the Essential Graphics panel means and does in a little bit more detail. So in the previous lesson, we noticed that if we pin our shape layer to our text layer, what we now do the, to the text layer will happen or change the, the shape layer. But it goes beyond just the size and position. Now, if we change this text, say we change it to my name, look what happened. The shape layer also changes. The spacing of the sides and the position of it also changes. So this could be very beneficial if you're working on a series of videos or a video with multiple speakers and you want to have lower third titles that look the same with the same sizing and spacing of the shape uh, of your graphic. It's going to match it when you change the name. Isabel Ebener, my wife, okay? So that's pretty cool. Notice though that we have this selected with all four sides highlighted. And so if you hover over this, you can see what it means, but basically it is setting the edges of your, your shape that you want to be affected. So if we uncheck the top and bottom and right sides, we are still pinned to the hello text, but look what happens when we change the text now. Only the left side of the shape layer is pinned to the left side of the text layer, right? So if we add more text, only that side is pinned, okay? So there might be creative situations where you want that to be the case. Um, the other thing that will happen is if we move this around now, we can move up and down, but it doesn't really move the shape. It only moves the shape if we're moving left or right. Again, might there might be creative situations where you want to be able to move your text up and down like this to look cool, but not have the shape move up or down as well. Now, you also might be wondering, okay, I see this drop it down that says pin to your text layer or to video frame, what's that? The video frame just means the entire video frame. So if you change the size of your video frame, this will also move your text. So if we move, change our sequence settings or my, our frame settings from a 1920 by 1080 sequence to a square sequence, then that's going to change the position of our graphic as well. And that's sort of like the standard setup. So that's responsive design position. In the next lesson, we're going to see what this other option was when we were back in our master settings, responsive design time. We'll see you there.